What's up guys, we are ranking the best IEMs at $200 today, old and new, sales included. So let's just jump into it. Starting things off, we have the best all-rounders. If you want something Harman, then grab either the Supermix 4 or the Truth Deer Nova. The main difference between them is in the fit. The Nova is going to be bigger, it's a little bit less comfy to me personally, and depending on unit variations, you might get more treble on the Supermix 4. But overall, both of them have a balanced sound signature, not too much bass, well controlled, you know, good vocals, not thin, not husky not too forward, not too recessed, and fairly smooth treble on both, more or less depending on the unit you get. Basically, as all-rounders, they do nothing wrong, they sound very correct, and they play back most genres very well with pretty great technical performance on top. Now, if you want more mid-bass and you know you want more slam in the low end but still want an all-rounder sound, then both the Chopin and the Hydro would be better in that scenario. Out of the four, the Hydro has the most low end in the down switch configuration. It's slightly more V-shaped, it has more mid-bass, a little bit more bassy, but it's still pretty well rounded. Whereas the Chopin in terms of the low end is somewhere in between the Hydro and the Super Mix and the Nova while giving you that you know that balance in the upper mids and the treble. Tech wise all four are very similar with a slight edge to the Super Mix 4. But speaking of technical performance we have a tie for the most detailed and you know technical IEM which is the Quintet and the Super Mix 4. Both are actually very similar sound wise as well as their driver configuration and it really depends on whether you get more or less bass and treble on one or the other which can shift the perception of detail slightly over to the you know quintet or the super mix 4 but overall they're both the best under $200 however value wise the best under 200 is still the super mix 4 in my opinion it's got the technical prowess of the quintet but it's just cheaper and smoother with a little bit better timbre and because the super mix 4 is also an all-rounder it means that it has less faults when it comes to the tuning because it is very well balanced whereas the quintet is also an all-rounder but it has has some metallic timbre in the treble which is why I didn't include it in the all-rounder category since there are you know just better options with a similar tuning and just more natural and also cheaper for example the Truth Ear Nova. And speaking of the Novas it's a less detailed Supermix 4 with a worse fit for my ears since they are just a bit too big and they fall out after 30 minutes or so. So for those reasons combined it puts the Supermix 4s over the Novas for me personally. Moving on to the vocals the best all-rounder vocals goes to the original C Audio Yume. It's still my benchmark mark under $200. It doesn't favor male or female vocals, pretty well balanced. It's got less bass and treble versus some of the other harmon stuff which really allows the vocals to pop out more. The tuning isn't anything special, it's just very natural in the timbre but if you're looking for something you know sweeter, lighter, favoring female vocals more then I would recommend the Condensa 4. The Cat 4 is clean, airy and it highlights the upper mids and the treble just a little bit more adding that extra little bit of shimmer and shine to the vocals. I found female vocals to sound very sweet and light and which is very you know beautiful on the Condensa 4 whereas if you want something you know favoring male vocals the Tangentium Origin is better when it comes to that. It's not only got more mid bass for that extra thickness but it's also like still nicely extended in the upper mids and the treble which helps cut through that extra bit of you know husk and energy and power in the low end while adding that extra you know oomph to the vocals without being like overly congested or like overly thick. They're going for around $220 right now but I've seen them go as low as $200 on AliExpress so keep an eye out when sales season comes. However if you're looking for something even warmer and bassier then I recommend giving the QERS KE4s a shot since they have one of the best low end under $200 with that dual dynamic isobaric setup. The sound is full, you know the bass is textured, thumpy and heavy in the no weight but with also good treble extension on top it feels fairly open, no mid bass bleed and scales pretty great which you know transition nicely to the next category scaling and high volume. If you want a full warmer sounding set that scales very well grab the KE4s it's the best of both worlds bass and scaling but if you want something more balanced and that scales like even harder than the KE4s you know less fatiguing in the you know low end because the bass just less boom boom then grab the explore it's one of my favorite IEMs under $200 and it scales like an absolute beast on the other hand if you don't like too much bass and you want something more clean and neutral then the QBS orchestra light is still one of the best clean neutral and balanced IEMs like around $200 it's like $215 right now but I've seen it go lower than $200 so keep an eye out for sales again obviously the orchestra light isn't going to be anything exciting it's very vanilla since there's not much dynamics in both the low end as well as the treble but it is like very you know 
safe and offensive and it's pretty sweet and clean when it comes to the vocals if that's your vibe. But if you can't stand a lean low and you want the most bass without distorting the vocals and stuff, like you want that bass head slam, then go for the 7 hertz legato. It satisfies the bass head cravings and you can get it for under like 100 bucks on sale. I would also keep a lookout for the Fat Freak HBB Deuce. I didn't include it because you know it's not released yet. It's been delayed. I don't know how long it's gonna take to be released. So heads up, but just look at that bass shelf. What else do I need to say for the deuce? Bass goes boom. But if you're more of a triple head instead and you're looking for something more triple emphasis but still natural in the timbre, you know, not too peak, not too sharp, then you got two options. If you want a smoother and airy treble presentation, you know, it leans on the lighter and bright side without it being too peaky, too sharp, too jarring, then I recommend trying the Condensa 4. But if you're looking for more energy and excitement in the treble or just like more amount of it in general, then the TRN Zero Dragon will give you the most treble without being like too shrill and sharp like the Stellaris for example. It does have some planar timbre and again it is more boosted in general but if you want just the most quantity you know maybe you have older years then those are a nice pick. Moving on to some V-shaped IEM so we're talking based on top of the extra treble now. You have two options here the Canera Celeste Relentless and the 7 Hz 5. The main difference is that the Relentless is going to be a brighter V-shaped kind of sound with more treble energy but it still has enough engagement in the low end whereas the 5 is kind of the opposite it has like more bass it's warmer and fuller but it has like enough treble to give it that you know v-shaped kind of sound so depending on your preference either one works now as for the best planar we're looking for something that has the technical prowess that comes with the planar driver as well as the unique planar flavor without it being like completely botched <laughs> when it comes to the timbre so for this category my pick would be the s12 2024 edition it's got the best combination and balance of both the technical performance as well as the timbre so it's still a little lively it's not going to be overly bright and shouty but it's still gives you that like unique planar flavor and it's not too dark and missing the upper mids or the treble in order to you know reduce the planarness. Tuning wise the 2024 edition is the best S12 to date and it's very similar to the MP145 before it got you know silently retuned which is why it didn't make the list but yeah S12 very good. As for some of my personal favorites I have two categories you know scaling and unique IEM. Scaling wise, it's no surprise. I like something that's immersive that I can like get lost in the music. Kind of like takes me on a journey, right? And the ones that does the best in that is the KE4 if you want something warm, but like still open. And also the Explore. If I just want, you know, the maximum immersion, intimacy, and like personal feeling to the music, it just scales very well. And then unique sound wise, the CKLVX or the Pulas is just very unique. It's very different. It has that airy and dreamlike feeling presentation to it. It works very very well for indie acoustics and singing songwriter stuff and also my personal favorite planar the Shozi P20 which has this like warm but airy and also sizzly sound that's comforting but at the same time also lively it's like 50% off on Linsel right now for like 70 bucks so give that a shot it's a pretty unique experience in my opinion but yeah aside from that that's pretty much it I hope this guide was helpful thanks for watching guys and I'll see everyone in the next one Shout out to Rox Cat, Dom Q, Star Buccaneers, This Call Scaldus, B underscore Urak, Mystic Spoon Attack, Oh Really, Walker Standard, User Ernest, Patrick, Bell Cell Kel, Polly J, Mr. Gorillas, Anton Risto, Gis Sing Yan, Tamat Pat Fashe, Ed Dunlap, Christopher Jackson, Name, Henry Claudia, Son of a Horse, 777ZK, Ben Thompson, Franco Gomez, Haigu55, Asher, Wizard, Jab, Obi, Icomment87, Contain Guava Juice Gains, and Treble Well Extended. Thank you guys so much.